right, welcome back to Florida Poly's Fall 2020 Game Expo. Here I have David Kozdra, and he is the developer of Universal Truth. So, David, can you tell us a little bit about your game? <laughs> All right, um, so my game is an incremental game. It's called Universal Truth. It's uh, set in space. I created it because uh, about a year ago, I was a part of a game jam and the theme was a space game. And I really wanted to make an inter incremental game, a game like Cookie Clicker, uh, where you just can continuously get more money and more money and uh, improve in that way. That's where the progression of the game lies. Uh, so the universal truth is money, because I'm anti-capitalist and I'm a rebel. Uh, I really like it. You go around the universe buying planets, uh, collecting resources. <laughs> So uh, one thing I want to note is that David is an independent team. Um, so that makes it even you know, more fun. So what made you come up with this game? Um, you know, like I said, it was a game jam, space theme. I really, really just enjoyed the idea of, uh, I guess, incremental games where you're not just clicking. I like Cookie Clicker, but I wanted like a very passive game where you could still do things. So I wanted to be able to walk around, but it was space. So I was like, oh, what if they were planets? And um, the beginning um, design of the game was very different. Uh, you know, there's resources on the planets now and things like that. I think it's a much fuller game compared to what I made about a year ago. Oh, yeah. 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 You know, it looks great. And is there a storyline for the game? Um, I guess not really. Um, with this game, it's just buy the planets, you know, get as much as you can. I, I thought about it a lot, and then at the end of it, I was like, it seems like a lot of work. I want to keep the scope as small as possible. It was definitely about making a very simple, uh, agreeable game. I wanted people to be able to understand it very like easily. You know? Yeah, yeah. So I see that you have a light at the end of your uh, where you're looking at. Um, how is the light affecting anything? Does it have any functionality? Oh, the lighting in the game? Um, I know the player has a light, and that's just in case you're out in the darkness. I want you to be able to see yourself, uh -huh. you know, at all times. Uh, it's really just for aesthetic reasons. I think it really helps, like, you know, make it seem, like, more solar. Uh -huh. So does your game have more than one level, or is it just a one-level game? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, 2D lighting's fun, though. You know, it's, it's hard to do, but it's interesting. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So how was making... I hope we're not having connection with you. Yes, I think we are having a little connection. There's really just one level. Um, all you really do is, you know, buy the planets and... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, let me ask you one more question. How was but, creating a game different than any of the projects you were a part of before? Okay. So um, this summer, for example, I worked on a password vault. It's a very simple project I made that basically just lets you store information on an SQL uh, database. It wasn't really hard to do, but I think the main difference was Unity gives a lot of, uh, a lot of interesting ways to do things like, I had to wonder, how do I do this? How do I make the player move like this? How do I move the camera and stuff? And other people had made that before in an interesting, fun way. With with uh, more traditional software, sometimes you just have to build it yourself, or it's more self-explanatory, because you're not worrying about every possible thing the player could do. So it's a lot more of some things are already built for you in Unity, and some things aren't with more traditional projects. Mm -hmm. So are you planning on making games after you graduate? What is your uh, path? Um, currently, I'm a software engineering student, and uh, I really enjoy that. But I wouldn't mind making games on the side. I, I always enjoy it. It's a great way to express yourself. Oh, yeah. I 100% I agree with you. Um, is there anything else that you want to talk about? No, I think that's all I have. All right, well, um, then make sure to go on itch.io, um, play David's game Universal Truth, and give it a rating. And we will be right back with another game.